Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got a fun video for you today. The disc throwdowns have returned, and I've returned to Northside Christian Church to compare and contrast two different discs. The Innova Gorgon, Gorgon, however you want to say it, and the Innova Beast. But I don't just have two discs or two molds. I have three versions of the Innova Gorgon. I've got it in G-Star, I've got it in star plastic as well. And last but not least, I've got it in the Proto Glow Champion plastic. So I've got potentially three different stabilities of Gorgon here, but that's not all. I'm going to compare it to the Beast. Not just any Innova Beast, but I've got the Innova Beast L mold in Pro Plastic, and I've got the Innova Beast X mold in Champion plastic. Okay, so first of all, just look at the graphics on these discs. I think Innova has really stepped their game up. I'll put uh, better graphics on screen. <laughs> um, if these don't work out right live in camera, uh, but I really like what our team is doing here at Innova. And this is more of their old look for some of their uh, designs. And this is the Beast, this is the Beast L mold. And the reason I can tell this is the Beast L mold and this is the Beast X mode is you may not be able to see it here, but I'll put it in post if I need to. But essentially, this beast has kind of a flattish underside rim, and this is flattish with a slight curve at the bottom, so it's slightly more convex towards the bottom that gives it more stability. So it's not just the plastic and how it affects uh, the disc, uh, it's uh, the shape of the disc itself, so the two work hand in hand. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start throwing. Okay, I'm uh, going to throw the G-Star. Uh, Gorgon first. One thing I want to mention is all the rim sizes on all the Innova 10-speed discs, including the Gorgon, are exactly the same size. There are actually some 11-speed discs like the Mamba, Maya, Mystere that actually have the same rim width, but they're a little more sharp. Anyways, here's the G-Star. Let me see. Okay. And we have a Tailwind, by the way. This should be a touch more stable. Yeah, thanks, Sean. <laughs> Give me moral support, or maybe immoral support. <laughs> Pulled over a little bit more on that, but I can tell it's a touch more stable. Here's the Glow Champion version of the Gorgon. Ooh, it actually flipped a tiny bit. That's probably about the same stability as a Star. Now let's try the Pro Beast L. Ah, uh, that's more stable than the Gorgon. <laughs> that one I noticed. Oh my god, that's even more beefy. That's the Beast X. Let's go retrieve them. Okay, there's the G-Star Gorgon. I managed to pull a bit more and a better angle on the Star Gorgon. And then I got a touch more distance with the Champion version. And the Beasts are over here. Now we're going to go that way. I'm just going to throw all four directions. Uh, we got the... It was a tailwind before, now it's... A tailwind, tailwind again. <laughs> oh my god. Welcome okay. Northside Church. All right. Welcome to Houston, y'all. Wow, yeah, that's going to be a lot more stable cuz of the tailwind, ripping tailwind at this point. Star Gorgon. Try to touch more flat. Notice how I'm actually planting before throwing. I'm finally getting that. <laughs> I'm glad Sean's helping out with the camera work. The wind's doing a number on this. You know what? I think that champion is the same stability as a star. I don't see it's any more or less stable. Pro Beast, Beast L. Oh, I released it early, so that was a mistake on my part. I went a little too fast. Slow it down. There we go. Had to pull that quite a bit. Look how stable that thing is. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're going. The wind died. I'm just going to throw. It's supposed to be a headwind. Slight headwind. Uh, touch too high. So the downside of throwing a disc of this speed is the higher you get, the less distance it goes relative to like fairway drivers or mid range. It's, there we go. That's the way I wanted to throw. Well, now the wind's going from right to left. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a headwind. Well, slight headwind. Slight headwind. Okay. Right to left. Right to left. <laughs> wow. Yeah, look at that thing. Okay. 
So for me, a sub 300 foot thrower on the course, those Gorgons are bombing. So I'm gonna bag one of those. The glow one's already going in my glow bag. So <laughs> Beastel. There we go. I did deliberately try to put a touch of Annie on it. Oh my God. Yeah, the wind caught you. <laughs> that, that's good. I'm, I'm throwing pretty far. Beastel, I recommend that too. All right, beefy boy. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Last set of throws, throwing directly into a headwind. So and the sun. And the sun. So definitely have to throw it low and slow. Well, low, not slow. G star. <laughs> yeah, it's turning over a touch. That's good. That's to be expected. Throwing into a 20 mile per hour headwind. That's what I wanted. I uh, pulled over a touch on that, but good stability on it. All right, this should be a touch more stable. Be still. Yes, that's good. Low screamer. I'm going to end up bagging that one as well. Now the champ. <laughs> Fighting right out of it. That's a beast X, boys and girls. <laughs> All right, Sean, he wants to throw these as well. Going to have him throw in the same order I did. There we go. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> and these are his first throws of the day too, so. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Look at the beef on that boy. <laughs> yeah. All right, Carter showed up and he's gonna throw throw them. Starting There's with a, the door gone. Yes, sir. And move out of the way, left or right. Yeah. All right. Cool. There we go. Great throw. Oh, yeah. Great throw. Thank you, sir. Okay, now chances here to throw them as well. All right, uh, gonna start out with the G-Star Gorgon. I'm gonna throw it on a hyzer flip, see if it'll stand up flat and maybe even do a little late turnover. Cool, thank you. I mean, all the stuff we can't do. Wow. Yep, late turnover. You get an ace, you're getting an ace. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. You try. <laughs> <laughs> Next is Star Gorgon. I'm going to do the same thing with it. <clears throat> no late flip on that one. So that one will hold the hyzer. A little more stable. G Star is typically a little more understable than regular Star. Same deal, uh, Glow Gorgon. I'm going to do it on the same deal. Yep. Same thing as that star, still pretty stable if you throw it on a hyzer. Now these beasts, this pro beast, I'm gonna throw it on more of a turnover and see if we can get a little S, S curve out of it. All right, same thing for this one. I'm gonna throw it on a little more extreme turnover. 
Nope. Yeah. Leave that one flat. Nope. Not that one. Beefy. Flat, flat, flat. That's a beef son of a bitch right there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for this video. I just want to summarize by basically stating that these five discs are essentially in the uh, following stability. Basically, the G-Star, uh, in my opinion, is the least stable, followed shortly by the Star. And right next to it is this Champion. Sure, it's Proto Glow, it's Champion, but there, it's they did a real good job of making sure that this is the same stability as Star. I'm sure if they come up with Halo versions, uh, that might be a touch more stable, but they did a good job between those two premium plastics. Then showing up to this uh, Pro Beast, I think this is more close to the 10.5, negative 2.2 rating of the, of the Beast X, basically. And this Beast X, I honestly think is real close to being an orc. And uh, real quick, I just want to say I wasn't uh, kidding, basically. I have... Uh, a pair of calipers that I've used and I've measured on all of these discs and uh, like here's the the beast for example there's 20 point it says 20.8 but 20.7 is what I had it measured and all these are about the 20.5 uh, yeah 20.6 uh, they're all in that range so every one of these gorgons and beasts have the same rim thickness or wing length. It depends upon how you view the disc, horizontal or vertical. Here's a Monarch, for example, same wing length, basically, but less stable. Here's an Orc. This is about the stability of that Beast X, and this is in Star Plastic and its PFN pre-flight number. This is actually a mystery disc. It is... Uh, it looks like an orc, but it, the rim is slightly different, and it doesn't match any of these, and I've compared them to the end of a list. Here's an Aztec, also known as a Starfire L. Here's an actual Starfire. Here's an Invictus in G-Star plastic, an Invictus in Star plastic. It's a factory second. Last but not least, a Monster. They all have the same essential wing length. So the PDGA stats page is usually off by a fraction of a centimeter usually a percentage point or so. Um, so 2.1, 2.0 centimeters are all about the same. They all fit within that same class. And that's basically going to do it for this video. I do think that Innova should actually produce more of the Beast X mold as the Beast X and the Beast as the Beast L because I think there's just enough stratification between Gorgon, Beast, and, you know, Starfire L or the Aztec and then more stable versions like the Orc and stuff like that. So that's going to do it. Thank you very much for being patient. Uh, stay tuned. I have more videos like this coming up in the future. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.